Hey y'all, Karen here with Ministry of Mini Goats. Uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button because we have a lot of new content coming for right now. Some of you I told yesterday that there would be a video coming today. And well, here it is. We, you see this little piece of land back behind me? This right here is where our new home is gonna go. We had mulled over the ideas of going with either a pole barn, a trailer, or a stick-built home. We kind of come to the conclusion that a stick-built was just going to cost entirely too much for us to put in for the amount of size that we wanted. So we kind of ruled that out. Um, there were some issues that fell into place with the pole barns and whatnot. So we didn't get to do, you know, we're probably not going to get to do that either. We went, um, we signed yesterday on our house, and I, I made a funny yesterday saying, for the first time in almost 36 years, I'm homeless. Now, I'm not without a place to stay, but for the first time in my life, I don't have an actual home to call my own. So, hey, we're, we're getting there. But we went, um, after we signed on our house yesterday and sold it, we, um, we went and looked at a few of the manufactured homes and there were a lot of them that just didn't fit the bill but there was one that I just absolutely I mean you know how you have that moment sometimes and you just you just know so when we went into this home yesterday I just kind of I was like you know this has the feel this has what I want to be in, you know, for the next little bit. And this is what I can see, you know, I could see myself cooking country eggs in the kitchen, um, you know, frying up hamburgers. I could just, I could see myself in that kitchen. And there weren't very many aspects of the home that I didn't just, you know, fall in love with. So, here in just a minute, um, Aaron's gonna get over here and we're going to measure out because we've gotta get permits and everything put in place before we can get into our home. We're hoping to be in our new home. There's a bug. Um, we're hoping to be in our new home by Christmas. We'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's going to be interesting. So y'all make sure you keep up with us. You want to see the house? All right, guys, so I told you that we were going to kind of maybe look at some mobile homes and whatnot from, because building, I believe, is like out of the question for us because we still want to be mortgage-free, and we're not going to be able to be mortgage-free. This COVID's done messed all of that up. However, this right here may put us one step closer to being mortgage-free and being able to work on the homestead like all the time. So, let me, I've, I've already gotten permission, let me show you around some of this right here. Guys, like, I'm dying. Look at this shower. The shower's, like, huge. Hey, you can see me in the back. The closet. The closet's the same way. Look. It's like, man. And hold on just one second, and I'll flip you around, and I'll show you the rest of it. Look at that tub. And those great big windows. And look, even the toilet is behind a wall. Okay, so, yeah, you've got your double vanities right here. That's nice. I'm not a big fan of the color on the walls, but hey, that's cosmetic. I like the window right there, and I like the airiness of it all in here. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this is the barn door that will go up over the bathroom entrance. Um, Aaron's not a big fan of this right here, but I kind of really like it. And this will be your dining area. I guess it's kind of like a little buffet table over there. You've got your dining area that's really lit up. But the kitchen, the kitchen, y'all, look at that huge island bar. And the big sink and the window. The window is a selling point for me. And, yes, it is deep. And it also has a nice size pantry. It's got the little strips. Ain't nothing we can't fix. Um... You've got the living room right here, again, really bright and airy. And then you've got this right here. That's the little, I guess it's TV stand. That right there is nice. I can see some little baskets down on the bottom, maybe with some kids' toys or, I mean, hey, you never know. But you've got this little coat rack thing here as soon as you walk in. Y'all, I'm telling you, this kitchen, this kitchen. You've got the walkthrough right here to where your utility room is. 
really nice. Got all your cabinetries and whatnot. You've got the little bathroom back here. It's got the tub in it. It's got a little window up there. I like the nice, nice car quit playing in the toilet. And it's even got the little racks up there, the little hooks. Um, here's bedroom number one. Bedroom number two, I'm assuming we'll have more air coming in. We're, I mean, we're on a lot with other trailers. So, I mean, you know, they're kind of blocking some of the light. But I like the windows and stuff. Guys, I'm really thinking this right here might be, this might be my aha moment. I may have found the one that my soul loves. Sorry, Aaron, love you. All right, folks, we've got some old fogey sitting on the front porch swing. There's the songs of the way be swinging. My growing old partner, y'all. Um, anyways, y'all, y'all know what we know pretty much as far as the house and stuff goes. We're still waiting on several emails, confirmations, and all that kind of stuff. So, hopefully here within the next couple of months, we'll see something going in. And maybe we'll be in before Christmas. I mean, who knows? So, remember, subscribe, hit the bell notification. If you like what you see, give us a thumbs up. Interact with us, folks. So, until next time. Peace out. Bye.